Hello. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm really tired. I just spent the day tidying the apartment to try and do an apartment tour because I didn't want you guys to think I live in complete and utter chaos. And I was really giving it my all. I was trying to be a bold presenter. And now I just hate it. I was looking back at the footage and I just don't even sound like myself. I... <laughs> You've probably already seen it. I've probably already posted it. Um, please, please don't take me too seriously. I don't know who that person is. So, we've got our moving boxes, which I don't, how do you open this? So this is my first moving box of the move. When you're folding a box, do you put the little ones in first or the big ones? I think the little ones. Fold it round. Yes, excellent. And I've got more duct tape than I know what to do with which would sound kinky in literally any other context, but... <laughs> the aim of this move is to get it done without crying. That's all I want to do. That's my aim. I don't care about anything else. I just want to get the move done without crying. And you may think, Eleanor, that is a basic task. No, it's not. It's really not. If you've ever watched one of my Twitch streams, you'll know that I cry at absolutely everything. In fact, I would say that crying is the only thing that you can reliably count on me to do. It's crying. Is my cat inside this box? How did you get inside of there? I feel like I'd love to be more chill. That's my, that was my goal for this year. Because some people are naturally chill. Other people have to work on it. I really have to work on being chill. Because I overthink everything and I get really stressed really easily. And then I get really animated. And that stresses everyone out because then I'm really loud and stressed. Which is generally just a really, unhelpful state of being to be in a stressful situation. <laughs> the last thing you need when everyone's already stressed is someone shouting about how stressed they are or crying. That's me. I'm that one. I've over sellotaped this, haven't I? Well, the thing is, it's gonna have books in. So I feel like the more sellotape, the merrier, but I just keep thinking about the environment and then I feel bad about it. I've got myself some jelly babies because I really like them and I feel like they're gonna help me stay calm. I'm doing this area first just because I feel like it's the most logical place to start. I just feel like this is a, a good introduction to packing, you know? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. My issue with packing books is that like, I always forget the books are really heavy. Um, yeah. So how many books do you reckon you should put in a box? The thing is, I can carry a lot. But it just is about just practical ease of carrying. How many books is too many books? It's more about the... Because this is, this is very carryable. Going down the stairs. That's the thing. Oh, shit. Sorry, Charlotte. Please don't judge me, Bronte sisters, for I have sinned. Little G in the box. I gotta go through all these. I've got so many miscellaneous papers and I don't know where they came from or why I have them, but they exist. And I, the idea of having to go through them is stressing me out. I think this is my GCSE history stuff. I'm gonna be honest. This is a huge folder and it's, fra is it French? It's GCSE French. Wait, let me read you a piece of my GCSE French. If you don't know, Jean was raised in Paris. He speaks fluent French. So Jean can judge my French. I need to get your reaction. Come here, come, come sit here so you can. Mm -hmm. It's, sure. you know what, we'll just blow your nipples out, it'll be fine. Look how cute. I made, I made cards. Est-ce que tu regardes le film à l'ordinateur? What is the answer, Jean-Michel? Are you watching the movie on the computer? Yeah, but what's the answer? Am uh, I watching the movie on the computer? No, you're filming a YouTube video. Close. No. Je regarde le film sur la télé car je préfère <laughs> grand écran. Écran. What? Oh. <laughs> Mais mon père a mis regarder le film à l'ordinateur. <laughs> Comme c'est facile. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Because I read this bitchy. I even put facile in this. I was like, Comme c'est facile. <laughs> I, I gave it the sass. L'internet, est-ce que. Est-ce que qu'il peut être dangereux? Wait, do you know what you just said? The internet, is it dangerous? Is it? You tell me, Jean, is the internet dangerous? No, it's safe. Nah. <laughs> no! Ce n'est pas dangereux si on fait attention. <laughs> attention. Attention! Uh, attention. 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 <laughs> attention. Attention. As if there's an S. Attention. You're saying shh. It's. Attention. Attention. Sion. Attention. Don't try. Like S Y O N. Sion. Attention. I feel like we're saying the same thing. You're saying shh. 
Attention. You're saying attention. Oh my god, they're digging in a hat. You found a witch hat. Or oh, alternative answer. Oui. L'internet peut être dangereux car il y a deux personnes malintentes. Malintentes. What's that? Deux personnes. Des personnes. 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 Personne. 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 Des personnes. Malintente. Mm, Malintente. Ce n'est pas sans danger, mais si on est prudent, ce n'est pas un jour. <laughs> you are prudent. There is no danger on the internet. Wow. Apart from crazy ladies who wear witch hats and scream in French. I'm so confused, uh, honestly. I'm glad we're doing this now because this is going to take me a lot longer than I thought it was. I genuinely, I thought packing was just putting things in boxes. It turns out there's a lot more to it than that because somehow we've accumulated masses of shit. Oh my god, it's my Whitey Wop box! When I first started Whitey Wop, I didn't really have like any money spare. I put all of my savings into Whitey Wop. So I, I wrote everyone a little card in an envelope with their name on, with every order, and I hand wrote all of them, which ended up absolutely knackering my wrists. But the, they they all came with little stickers and little badges. So we have Whitey Wop ba uh, stickers, and they have no, they have the little designs, the designs that we sold for season one. They're on the stickers. It's so cool! I'm gonna put these in packages. If you watch this video and you order from YDYB, I'll put stickers in your package. They're really nice stickers, they're paper stickers, um, and they're recyclable, so of course they are, because we're a sustainable business! These are post office receipts from all the people that ordered. Oh my god, dude, I was so grateful when I launched it and people actually ordered. I don't think I've ever been that relieved in my entire life. Um, but I had to lug all of this stuff to the post office. So I was carrying hundreds of parcels in two Ikea bags, one on each shoulder, to the post office every day for a few days. And <laughs> it was a, a look. It was definitely a look. I must have some footage of it somewhere. I have no idea what this is. Are these pens? Oh, they're just pens. Why? I don't know how. I don't know if you guys have the same thing. I've just managed to accumulate probably a thousand pens, realistically. This whole bag is full of pens. How? Do I just keep buying pens? I have loads. I, they're just never where you need them and I think that's why people end up with loads of pens because you can never find them because they are in a bag, in a drawer, hidden, never to be found again. This is the current state of affairs. <laughs> what are you thinking, John? What do, what do you think about the moving? I'm already tired. I'm not gonna lie. Just putting together a box is really exhausting. If you work in like furniture moving, full credit to you. It is a rough job. It is very labor intensive and it is mentally exhausting. So all the love. Hello, it is day two of packing up our apartment and I am filthy. I'm sweaty and greasy and I haven't showered and I'm still wearing the same clothes as yesterday. Uh, we're currently keep packing up the office slash wardrobe area, which means we're putting all the clothes away. <sighs> I feel so many clothes. I don't know how this happened. I feel like moving is one of those things that you know you're gonna have to do it, but it just doesn't occur to you how awful it's gonna be. Why do, why do, I don't want to do this. I thought it would be easy. It's like an abstract. Moving is not easy. Those are some very colorful socks. So we've bundled up our duvets and stuff, like our spare duvets, and then we're getting all folded clothes in here from the dresser. Um, and then we're gonna deal with the shoes and all this stuff.
we are making progress. Uh, most of the clothes are out of the wardrobe, as you can see. I have hiccups, which are driving me insane. Uh, but we move. I'm sorry, this could be a really stressful video, just to observe. It's probably not what you tuned in for. You probably tuned in for a very capable, emotionally stable, packing, moving video. Um, you're in the wrong place. Um, what is this? Oh. It looks like the cat's found a pencil sharpener. You keep me company, Atlas. Me? I want to give up. I give up, officially. This is my reg resignation. Jean's decided yeah. to make the Leaning Tower of Pisa in our living room. This is a disaster. Yeah, I can't stand it. it. Good morning, today is day three. It's our last day of packing. I am fully rocking a mullet right now. Uh, <laughs> it's taken a turn, this has. We've got a good amount done. I think it's very doable that we finish this today. We've pretty much finished the office room. Obviously with all the desks and the computers and stuff need to be put in boxes. We haven't done any of that yet, but that's like the last thing we'll do because um, we like using the computers until the last minute. This room is pretty much done. We just need to unpack the bedside tables, take down the bed. Hi Gaia. This area here. This room is where we're storing most of the boxes. It's pretty much done. It just needs... Oh, Gigi. It just needs some, like that needs to be packed up. And we're just working on the kitchen now. And Jean is wrapping up our knives. It's all going pretty well. I'm feeling good. Hang out our bins. Baby snail! Look how little the snail is! Just finished our recycling, uh, we're gonna go home and finish packing. The chaos has grown. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna flat pack our sofa, so I should probably get a box for the pillows, right? I can't find the scissors. I've lost them. I don't know how that happened. But it's a very typical thing that would have happened to me. And I'm never going to find them now. The house is a mess. Found the scissors. Found the tape. Need my pillows to fit in the box. Please fit in the box. I don't think I've really got it in my head yet that we're leaving. I just It just hasn't really clicked. really weird about getting older. It feels like growing up is something that happens to other people but not you. It feels like yesterday that I was joking around in my year 7 maths class with my friend, you know, age 12. And then what seems like, you know, the next day you're suddenly packing up your belongings to move halfway across the country with your significant other and you're just like, how did this happen? How did I get here? It's so weird. But I am that person, you know, I am that kid in the maths class and now I'm here. And it's so bizarre because even now I look at people older than me and I think, oh well, you know, that's just the age they are. And I, I never really think about and internalize that I'm gonna be that age at some point and that I'm gonna age and be older. Aging just always felt like this abstract concept. I, I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of feels like when you meet people they're older than you or they're younger than you and they're kind of set in that. You don't really see them as ever growing and aging. Growing up is just so weird because you never think it's gonna happen to you. And then, you know, you wake up one day and you're an adult and you're doing a job that you love, hopefully, with, you know, living with someone you love, hopefully, if that's your cup of tea. And you almost, don't know how you got there. I just don't understand how all of the thoughts that I've ever had, all the emotions I've ever felt, everything I've ever experienced can be condensed into one person. And if you think about it, by the time you're 90 years old, you've got an entire lifetime of memories and experiences and thoughts and feelings. And it's so crazy that you as one person have felt them all. Sorry, I know this is a bit of a deep turn for a move with me video, but I find that things like this trigger the existential crisis within me, um, and then <laughs> that's where we are now. I saw a piece of art the other day, and if you've ever had a, a dark period in your life, or you know, you've experienced dark thoughts, I, I, it might resonate with you. 
but it was a, an image of old you and young you. And young you is supposed to represent the time in your life where you were at your lowest point and you know you didn't really want to continue. And old you turns to young you and says, thank you for carrying on, because being older is wonderful. And it just really resonated with me, because being older is wonderful. Almost all of my greatest experiences, my most wonderful feelings, my happiest times, happened after my darkest point. And I just think, you know, I never would have been around to do it, to feel it, to see it, to experience it. So, shout out to younger me, because being older is wonderful. <laughs> I feel like at this point, you know, we, we're pretty close, you and I, um, because, you know, when you're at the point where you're showing each other, you know, your, your sofa gunk, the, the shit inside your sofa, you know, that's, that's trust right there. <laughs> I am so tired. I have so much love to do. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> I've got to uh, finish the kitchen. John has been doing the kitchen like all day. I It just takes so long because there's just so much shit in the kitchen. I'm gonna miss this apartment. I love like seeing the sun in the morning and it's just a nice place to live. I hope we like our next apartment just as much. I'm sure we will. At least we got to see that apartment. You know, we didn't get to see this apartment before we moved in and it turned out pretty well, so let's hope. No, Kaya. Kaya, no. You're too little. You can't make it. Okay, so I'm trying to get the stains off my wall and the best way to do that is to buy a magic eraser brush, a sponge, not brush, this is very clearly not a brush. And you get it a bit wet and the stains just come right off the walls. Like all the marks. They do disintegrate eventually though, so you, you get limited use. This is like the best trick I know in, as a way to get your deposit back. This is it. This is the one. <laughs> Eating takeout, we're having um, Wagamama's. I'm having a katsu curry. I used to like their vegan one, the Vigatsu, but they changed the recipe for like the meat substitute and now it tastes awful. Uh, Jean's got a firecracker curry and we've got kimchi as well. Ooh, can't have a Wagyu's without a bit of kimchi. We can't use our oven because it's been cleaned. We can't have, we've got no cutlery, no bowls. So this is literally the last dinner we're ever gonna have in this apartment. How do you feel about that? I'm so excited for the new place. Mm. I'm gonna miss this place, but also I'm so excited about the new place. Mm. It's just so weird. Like you live in someone and then you don't. And then someone else lives in it and makes new um, memories in the rooms that you made memories in. But then you think about all the other places that you've lived. And all the weird and different people living there. And also, I found out yesterday, somebody's bought this place. This is going to be someone's home, like permanently, for a while at least. I kind of want to leave graffiti in the wardrobe somewhere, like we were here, but our letting agent would definitely notice that and fine us for it. And I really want my deposit back, so... No, I'm not doing that. He's gonna be a baby. He's always been a baby. Aww, look at you. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, shit. It is 1am. It's moving day. I'm... <laughs> I've had enough. Uh, I, I do a little run through of what the house is currently looking like, because it's not good. The kitchen is currently in this kind of state. Um, it's not a good state for a kitchen to be in. Uh, there's still quite a lot of things that aren't in bags, but most of that is just like things that we found that need recycling, pretty much. And then these are just a bunch of bags and washing up stuff. Oh, sorry, camera. Boxes. Oh no. Boxes. Well, the styrofoam just tore clean off. No. Oh shit. This is where we've basically stored all of the stuff. So, this is our bed and our sofa over here. We've got all of our plants very nicely stacked on here. 
and then basically all of the boxes have just been piled into the living room. Jean is currently taping up our PCs. Look, this is our film to clean No! That's not very good. No, they lifted it up, like half the styrofoam just collapsed. That's great. Um, the two desks will be disassembled tomorrow, um, just because we don't want to do it tonight because it's too late. But yeah, we're just packing up all the PCs so they're empty and then all in boxes. And once this is all done, we are done. I am going to brush my teeth and go to bed. Um, our current state of our bedroom. It's, it's, it's not ideal, I'll be honest. <laughs> Uh, I have to do a lot more tomorrow to try and get some more of the marks off the walls because there are quite a few. Um, the carpets are the main concern though, however, um, because they are just a bit gross. So we've got a carpet cleaner tomorrow. Or when I say a carpet cleaner, I mean we have just the actual machine that cleans the carpet. I am the carpet cleaner. <laughs> it is me. It is I. Hello. Um, and hopefully tomorrow this will be empty and it'll look as we found it. I say found as if we just stumbled across an empty apartment to live in. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and get into bed and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. This is moving day. We're pretty much good, I think. It's just gonna be a nightmare running everything downstairs because we have like five sets of stairs and it's a lot. The current state of affairs. This is all our art stuff in that bag. Oh, uh, we got some rugs in that orange bag over there. Oh, it's happening! I don't really know what this corner is. This corner is like a, we're just gonna ignore this corner. And then we've got all our stuff in here. Kitchen is still a huge mess. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> we're just putting the cats outside in their playpen because we have a little, if we follow this round. There's a little playpen here that the cats like going in. Good girl, Gigi. This is where the cats will sit. So because there are so many stairs, we just have to have the door open the whole time um, in like the moving process, which means that it's just easier to have the cats outside in the playpen so we can keep the doors open. Because opening and shutting the doors when you're trying to go down a bunch of stairs is just gonna be a nightmare. We're starting to move stuff downstairs now. My parents are coming in like, 20 minutes with the van, but we figured if we could get some stuff downstairs, it would give us a bit of a head start. I'm about to disassemble my streaming desk. Oh, okay. So many stairs. I think that's fine. Yeah. Are you sure it's gonna be fine? Because I, I can do it, I can help. So, look, it's almost, it's getting there. So we could have moved too far to that truck. I know. When we moved out of Liverpool, we only had one car and it was a nightmare because we literally had to lose half our possessions on the way. So at least it's better to have more space than our space. One room clear, just need to hoover really filthy floor. Okay, pretty much the whole apartment is empty. We've packed everything into the van and I think they're, they're leaving or they've left. Um, we are now, me and my mum, beginning the process of cleaning our apartment. So carpets cleaning, hoovered, um, all of that good stuff, which is gonna take a while. We've given ourselves four hours to do it, but hopefully we can do it before then and then we can get some lunch because I am starving. Um, so, I'll crack on with that now, but look, it's just the cats in here. It's all empty. <laughs>
stuck in traffic. Hi. Um, so we just left. I'm actually exhausted. It's 6 p.m. This move has taken us, what, nine hours? I mean, we started at 9 a.m. It's now 6 p.m. exactly. I have not eaten an actual meal today. I have, <laughs> I ate granola slightly, some of Jean's for breakfast, and then I ate Ben's cookies. Things just got really stressful and hectic. And then our letting agent basically said she wasn't gonna give us our deposit back. So that was fun. Um, not in the best of mood. Jean has just got to Nottingham with my dad. They're unpacking the van now. Um, I know, the poor cats have been just, they've had a day of it really. Just been so confused, they have no idea what's happening. So yeah, we are en route now. I'm just really hoping we get our deposit back because it's so much money. So we're gonna stop at my parents' house, I'm gonna drop my mum off and all of her stuff and then I'm gonna have a long drive all the way up to Knott's. The knotting of the ham. I'm not looking forward to it, I'll be honest. Okay, so you can't see me right now, and if you can, sorry, because I've got like a thumb, but we're led in bed, we've got a mattress on the floor, <laughs> um, we haven't changed our sheets, so they're dirty, but we also haven't showered, so it's kind of like, two dirties makes a clean, right? That's how that works? I'm pretty sure, I, I heard that in science, two yeah. negatives is a positive, right, and that, works for cleanliness and that also works. works for cleanliness, so actually, if you and a mate are dirty individually you're just gross but if you and a mate are dirty together nice. that's a win nice. that's a win-win so we're in dirty bed sheets feeling disgusting and dirty but i went to have a shower and there was black mold like everywhere so i decided and said not to do that <laughs> and tomorrow i have to scrub the bathroom um so we're just gonna go to sleep now because we're exhausted and tomorrow <sighs> hopefully we can you know make something work get the house kind of organized god it's so stressful okay good night <laughs>